Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be predicting the Premier League table for the upcoming 2019 to 2020 um, Premier League campaign. We're literally going to go from, starting from the bottom, from 20th all the way up to 1st, um, who we think is going to end in every single position and basically going to tell you why too. And yeah, it's going to be a good one, so let's just dive straight into it. Alright guys, but before we get into the video, if you guys want to be shouted out in the next video, make sure you guys comment down below who you think will win the Premier League and who you think will come last. Let's see you guys' predictions, let's see who you think you know, will win, who you think will, will come last in the Premier League. It's an interesting one. You might see some teams you know, from mid-table last season going into relegation, some teams from mid-table going to you know, the 5th, 6th spot. Everything is possible in the Premier League, that's why we all love the, the beautiful game. But yeah, let's get right into it. So, starting from the 20th position, I'm going to be work, making my way from the 20th. To the first, as everybody else. Uh, 20th position, I put Sheffield United. Um, as you guys know, you know, three teams got uh, recently put into the Premier League. Uh, Sheffield, Aston Villa, Norwich. Sheffield United, you know, I don't know much about them. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I don't really watch championship football. So, you know, it's going to be something interesting to see. I've never seen them <coughs> actually. And maybe a couple times in the FA Cup or somewhere like that. But to be fair with you, I don't really know much about them. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big one. Um, I put them 20th. Um, as as you guys know, tra tra transfer-wise, you, you won't hear much of these players. But a lot of them will come up from nowhere. And a lot of them will be signing for big clubs in January possibly or next season as you guys know Premier League it's a big league big boys big money involved nobody's messing about you know these little teams come to the Prem they want to try get results against big clubs they want it they want it these people want them these players want to move up to big big teams so that's why they're here they're going to show off and get the re results they need so I put them 20th I think it's going to be a de decent season for them I think they'll drop back to the championship in my opinion and um, first first thing first is going to be money big money is involved in the Premier League so um, I don't, you know, if a small team comes with a very low budget, they don't really have much to show. They could fight for something, but money wins over, over, over football sometimes, so it does happen. Um, so yeah, Sheffield United, uh, 20th, 19th, I bought Burnley. Burnley, you know, they just missed on relegation last season. Uh, very lucky, in my opinion, not the best of seasons. Uh, they could s step it up this season, but I, I don't think so. Um, you know, I, I still think they will get relegated this season, actually. Uh, they got quite lucky last season. This season, I think they're going to be out in the championship playing with these low league teams and then for 18th up for Brighton Brighton on the other hand finished about mid-table um, they had a decent season but I think it's going to turn around this season and they're going to end in the relegation, relegation zone so yeah that's my first three teams okay so my bottom three starting off with 20th um, I put Aston Villa um, you know Villa I think they were quite fortunate to get into the Premier League in the first place you know got quite lucky in the in the playoff finals but you know they've made it now um, Got a few decent players, like some Grealich, Grealich um, even though they've uh, they've lost Abraham now and uh, Tuan Zabi, they've gone back to their to their um, normal club. So that's quite a big loss for them. So I don't know. I think they're going to struggle quite a lot with that. And uh, well, you know, they're going to try their best to stay up, but I don't think it's gonna it's gonna be. Um, I don't think it's going to happen for them. I think they're going to end up getting relegated. So yeah, Aston Villa to finish 20th, and then 19th I put another newly promoted team, Sheffield United. Um, don't know much about them. Um, they've obviously done well enough to to get into the Premier League. They'll do their best to try to stay up. Um, you know, uh, I don't don't know much about their players. I know they they recently just signed um, Ravel Morrison, um, who was a really really good player for United back in the day. So hopefully he can shine and show people you know his talent, what he can do. And, and help them try to stay up but um, yeah for me they're gonna go down and so yeah 19th for them and 18th I put Brighton um, who had a decent campaign uh, last season were lucky to stay up um, but I think uh, their time has come and um, yeah with the likes of other teams strengthening um, above above them I do think um, they're gonna go back to the championship this year so yeah Aston Villa 20th, Sheffield United 19th and Brighton 18th. <coughs> right so for my 20th place Gone with the popular Sheffield United as bottom three, but I'm gonna put them bottom as Maj did. Uh, similar reasons being obviously they're newly promoted. Well, I did well to get up, but obviously it's a different game now. And to be fair, haven't really uh, brought in anyone of a, a major status. Maybe uh, Jagielka, and as they said, obviously Morrison, but he's got to prove himself. Jagiel's got good experience, but obviously not on the levels to make a massive difference for them. So I think they're going to struggle this season and uh, come last, unfortunately. For 19th, I put Brighton. Uh, Brighton did struggle last season, so was able to stay up. But I think this season could be a bit too much for them. Obviously, uh, a lot of teams in the mid-table as well are going to get too late or have improved in their signings and stuff like that. So other teams are going to find it even harder to beat teams that they might have uh, got points on um, from last season to keep them up. So that's going to be a real struggle for them. So I think they're going to come 19th. And 18th, 
I put uh, Norwich City to uh, Villa. Um, I was, it was a, a toss up between Villa and Norwich, but I'm gonna put Norwich to to go be the last team to go down, <laughs> and yeah, obviously newly promoted as well. But it's gonna be a big struggle for them, and also they brought in a lot of players, but nothing really um, of eye catching standards to make a difference, and a lot of like low knees and stuff from bigger clubs. So the standards probably won't be enough for them to uh, challenge and stay in the Premier League this season, unfortunately. So yeah, Sheffield uh, 20th, Brighton 19th and Norwich 18th position. Okay, starting with the relegation zone 20th, I've also gone with the new promoted team Norwich. They made a couple signings, Dremich, Far Farm and two boys from Bundesliga, but I don't think they will have the capability of surviving in the Premier League. So yeah, 20th place Norwich, 19th place, I put Sheffield United just another uh, New promoted team just like Norwich, don't think they'll be able to handle the Premier League despite signing Ravel Morris and Jack Oka and so forth. But I personally don't feel the team is not strong enough. And 18th, I put Brighton, like the boy said, they had a very lucky, um, they were very lucky last season, in my opinion. And they sacked Chris Hugh and off they kept them in the Premier League, which is stupid. They haven't made any good signings. I think the time is up in the Premier League. So, yeah, let's move on to the next uh, predictions. All right then, moving on from the 17th to the 12th spot. 17th up with Aston Villa, again, newly promoted. Uh, they've been in the Premier League a lot of times, then relegated back and again, relegated back and again. Um, yeah, we'll see how, how it goes. So I put them 17th just before relegation. So in my opinion, there could be a shift swap there. It could be Aston Villa 18th uh, and Brighton 17th. But, you know, I, I, it's going to be somewhere there. Uh, next 16th, I put Norwich. Norwich, you know, they done really good last season. Hopefully they come to the season very strong and uh, they'll fight for the spot in the Premier League. 15th up at Southampton. Southampton, decent side. They, again, quite lucky last season. Done really poor. Uh, but I think they'll turn around the season this season and uh, have a decent season, in my opinion. Mid, mid table is all right for them. 15th to 12th around there will be quite decent, in my opinion. Uh, they'll get some money from that as well to, to improve for next season and uh, maybe attract a few players here and there from you know clubs like Aston Villa, Norwich. Those players that to go to you know Southampton because they got a good you know training facility. They improve the players and a lot of clubs buy from Southampton, big clubs. You look buy from there, you know City buy from there, you know even Arsenal buy from there. So you know it, big clubs uh, make business with this club, so it's a, it's a good move for some young players. Um, then 14th up for Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, <coughs> decent, decent team. If Zaha leaves, they could be dropping even lower than 14th. But if he stays, um, then you know I think 14th is a fair spot. 13th up for West Ham. Anderson, my guy. Hopefully he does really good this season and moves up to a big club because that guy is a is a star. I think I think he will he will do well and uh, he will you know jump in, in into the teams in the top seven um, if West Ham don't get there. But yeah, West Ham are decent on the, on the on the other hand. And then um, 12th up for uh, New. Uh, Newcastle, Newcastle ended, let me just have a look quickly, 13th, so I put them around the same spot, 12th, 13th spot, uh, 12th like for Newcastle this season will be decent, definitely new manager, new improvement team, a new new players attracted, young players again, uh, could be quite interesting this season for, to see Newcastle fighting, so that's my 17th to 12th. Okay, so for the next six teams, um, starting off with 17th, I put Norwich, um, Norwich for me, um, the best team out of the, top, um, the, the three that have got promoted to the to the Premier League now, you know, having won the championship, a um, lot of quality players. So I do feel like they're going to have a decent campaign um, next um, the upcoming season. They're going to struggle to stay up, but I do think um, they'll just about make it. So yeah, Norwich to, to finish 17th. Um, next 16th, I put Newcastle. Um, Newcastle is all looking quite downhill for them right now, having uh, lost um, Benitez, sold Perez to Leicester. Um, to be honest, they could even get relegated. I think there's going to be quite a struggle for them, but I think them two will just about make it and um, secure that 16th spot. Um, so yeah, Newcastle 16th. And then next, I put uh, Southampton 15th. Um, didn't have the best of campaigns last season. Up and down for them, to be honest. Um, then they brought in that new manager, I forgot his name, Rafael or something. Um, he, he managed to save them, keep them up. And I think it's just going to be a repeat of that, um, just like last season, um, between the 15th and 20th spots, going up and down through there. And uh, But yeah, I think they'll stay up and, and 15th. So, um, yeah, next spot, 14th, um, I put Burnley. Burnley didn't have the best of campaigns last season. Um, you know, Sean Dyche, I, I, I think he's quite a decent manager and, you know, he knows how to um, play against teams in the Premier League. He knows when he has to get dirty, he knows when he has to get te <laughs> technical and he's got the players for it. So, I think Burnley are always going to be that team that ends around 14th, 15th, 16th. So, um, yeah, for this season, the upcoming season, I put them to, um, to finish 14th. And then on 13th, I put uh, Crystal Palace who, you know, um, just lost Wan-Bissaka to Man United, which is a big loss for them. 
But if they can keep the likes of Zaha and um, Milenkovic and uh, I'd say Benteke, but he's not really, he, he's a decent baller, but you know, the likes of those players, especially Zaha, <laughs> then they can definitely put up a fight next season and stay in the Premier League um, around that 13-14 um, range. So yeah, Crystal Palace finished 13th and then for 12th I put Bournemouth, who are quite a decent side, um, played some really good football um, uh, last season, caused a lot of upsets to big teams and yeah, so I uh, put Bournemouth finished 12th and yeah, that's my predictions. Okay, so going into my 17th, I put Villa, as I said uh, when I was doing the uh, bottom three, it was a toss up between Villa and Norwich to stay up, but I'm going to put Villa. Only reason being, I don't know why, but I just feel like John Terry being in the ranks, it's going to have some luck for them, a little bit of experience, I don't know, a little, little, uh, a few tips for the players. Obviously, some players might be their first time being in the Premier League, and obviously, the standards are higher, so maybe John Terry can. Uh, have an effect on that so I just put that basically based on that in the managerial ranks for 16th I put Southampton not much to say about them same team basically and they, they always struggle in the Premier League they always like just stay up I think it's going to be another season where they just uh, do enough to stay up um, 15th I put Newcastle as the boys said Perez has gone to Leicester and Rafa has gone as well so they're going to struggle this season obviously Perez uh, was a big player for them they did, he did get quite a lot of important goals for them and obviously Rafa being uh, the manager he is it's going to be a big big test for Newcastle this season I think they'll stay up but uh, don't won't be surprised if they do end up in a relegation battle for majority of the season uh, for 14th I'll put Burnley uh, Sean Dyche uh, as the manager they didn't sack him there was a bit of um, debate of whether he should get sacked or not because of last season's performances but uh, they kept him which is a good idea in my opinion because he has done really good stuff with Burnley over the years uh, but I do think it would just be a, a similar uh, finish to last season. 14th place for them. And then 13th, I've gone with Everton. Uh, they brought in big players such as Fabian Delph. No, I'm joking. He's not going to do nothing. Uh, Everton is just going to struggle again. The thing is with Everton, they have really good players individually. It's just about uh, merging them together. Yeah. And I uh, don't know if the manager's got that right yet. But if he does get it right, they could do really good in the league because they do have a lot of players, talented players. But yeah, I think they're going to struggle again and be 13th. And then for 12th, I put Bournemouth. Eddie Howe's doing a really good job with the team he has there. And I think uh, they're going to do a decent season again. And maybe uh, the following season after this, maybe get some signings in, some revenue, and uh, try pushing for the top 10. But yeah, so that's my uh, 17th to 12th places. All right, starting with the 17th spot, I've actually put Newcastle. I'll was tempted to put them in relegation zone, main reason being that like the guys mentioned Rafael Benitez has gone, Ayosa Perez off to Leicester, Rondon back on uh, loans finished, so he went back to West Brom and Hossley left, so as, we, as we're speaking right now, they, they haven't made any signings, so I thought they are going to struggle, um, I think Steve Bruce, Steve Bruce is going to be the new manager and he's had a record of getting teams relegated, so yeah, Newcastle 17th, 16th, but I've actually put Aston Villa, the newly promoted team, I think they spent around 60 mil nearly on reinforcements for defence that is, so Tyrone Minks, Target, so, and they have a decent squad with experienced players in the Premier League, so could, there could be a shock this season for Villa. Uh, 15th place, I put Crystal Palace, like Dave mentioned, wan has gone, is Zaha leaving, we don't know yet, and they haven't made any signings, but they still have a decent team, don't get me wrong. So yeah, Villa, um, Palace 15th, sorry, 14th, I put Burnley. Don't get me wrong, they still got a solid team. They made, uh, they made a couple of decent signings, Jay Rodriguez and so forth. So yeah, Burnley 14th. Then 13th, I actually put Southampton, which is actually could be a, a surprise to you. But since Hassan Huss Huttle replaced um, Mark Hughes last season, uh, he's done a terrific job keeping Southampton up. And I feel like he will have a decent season with Southampton. And then 12th, I put Bournemouth, who of the mid-table teams are the most consistent, in my opinion, for the last four years. And I feel like they will finish 12th. But let's move on to 11 to 7. All right, 11 to 7. Like Michael said, uh, 11th actually for Bournemouth. Consistent seasons, uh, doing pretty well. So for my spot, 11th, that'll be Bournemouth. Uh, 10th, Watford. Watford are a very tough side to play against um, every season. So I think 10th spot is quite good for them. Uh, you know, they do put in hard work against good good teams in the Prem. They do struggle against the bottom league teams uh, as usual. But uh, like every every club, to be fair, does in the Prem. Um, but yeah, Watford are a mid-table team and I think 10th is a fair spot for them. Uh, 9th, I put Leicester City. Leicester City been up and down since they won the Prem. Uh, you know, the second, the second of the manager, the second of the other manager, then the caretaker taking over. A lot of mess in that club, a lot of mess has, has happened. Um, if they lose Maguire this season, it's going to be a big deal. 
uh, if they lose a few other players, it's going to be a big deal in my opinion, and they potentially could. Uh, you know, anything can happen um, as long as somebody splashes the money. Uh, so yeah, I think um, putting Leicester City knife is good. Wolves, like I said last season, they're one of my favourite clubs in the Prem. You know, even though they have quite quite a lot of money, uh, you know, they got quite a lot of young players, quite unknown players uh, that came from the championship and that you know they're really really doing well in the Prem, and I'm very happy for them. So I put them actually eighth. Same for Everton. Everton have started off um, the season with a good transfer window in my opinion um, they're going to keep signing players they already signed a few good players you know getting Belf is a good signing he's a very flexible player can't play in the field can't play in defence um, either side left and right uh, he's left footed so left back at the same time it's a very good position um, he, he can he can do a lot of things for that club in my opinion and you know um, I think he'll be pretty pretty good and uh, yeah so that's from my 11th to 7th Right, so for 11th, I put Watford. Um, Watford, really good team, quality players. Um, new manager's done really well since he's come in. Um, you know, they had a quite a decent campaign last season. Um, they're a really unpredictable team. You never know if you're going to beat them or not, especially at, um, away. They're really, really tough to, to crack. But um, yeah, I think they'll finish around that mid, uh, mid table um, position. So yeah, Watford to finish 11th. 10th, I put West Ham. Uh, once again, West Ham, another very good team. Good manager Pellegrini recently made a lot of signings in um, um, I think his name's Holder or something like that. Apparently he's meant to be like a really good striker. But you know I think this happens every season with with West Ham. You know they sign these two three decent players, everyone gasses them up, and then they just have another like bang average season, which I think is going to be the same next season. So that's why I put them um, to finish tenth. But you never know they could prove me wrong. Um, ninth for Everton. Um, Everton really good team. Um, haven't made much signings recently, uh, but you know still plenty of time for them to do that. Um, and if they do, they're just going to become much stronger. And with Marco Silva, I think he's just getting a hang of um, finding his best eleven now. Um, as I said, they got quality players, so um, they, they're, they're really capable of causing upsets left, right, and centre. So yeah, Everton to finish ninth, eighth. I put Leicester. Um, Leicester. Uh, Brendan Rodgers did. Uh, he's done decent since taking over. Um, hopefully, he can carry this on into the next campaign. And um, you know, as Man said, if they lose Maguire, that is a big blow for them. But you know, they re recently signed Tielemans. And I'm pretty sure if they lose Maguire, they'll, they'll find an appropriate replacement. So uh, it's, not, it's not looking too bad for them. So 8th Leicester and 7th I put Wolves, who um, had a phenomenal season last season. Um, beat so many of them. I think they beat all, the, all of the top six teams, unless they drew against City and beat them, something like that. But they caused a lot of upset to the top six teams, and, um, and which no one expected because you know they were new, newly promoted. So... If, um, and their owner is George Mendes, so he's got a lot of money. So if he um, invests okay, in a little bit more so this, this summer place, transfer window, I went with they're going to be a real Palace. problem next year. It could be even, uh, even, even come from 6th uh, or 5th. I think they're going to struggle so, uh, this yeah, season. Wolves finish 7th. Obviously, that's my the losses of uh, Bissaka. Uh, hopefully, Zaha to Arsenal. <laughs> uh, obviously, this isn't recorded um, after deadline. So, yeah, hopefully, he's gone to the Goons. But we shall see. So, but, yeah, Crystal Palace, if they do lose Zaha and Bissaka, that's two big players for them defensively as well as attackively so I think uh, we'll struggle even if Zaha does stay I still will uh, put the same prediction for them so 11th in my opinion for 10th I put Watford obviously last season they got to the FA Cup final obviously losing 6-0 I think was it 6-0 or something uh, uh, something yeah, like something that crazy. there's a big big loss obviously mentally but the fact they even got to the final maybe a, a confidence boost in the camp maybe they can go again another cup run and also mid-table finish that'll be a decent season for them and then for 9th place I went yeah, with Wolves uh, big signing, what they've done is they secured uh, Jimenez uh, into the club now and he was a really big player for them last season and obviously the manager's doing a really good job at Wolves um, as you saw last season, doing a magnificent job especially against big teams, doing that, pulling out good results so I put Wolves to finish ninth. Uh, eighth, surprisingly put West Ham obviously they were, were, didn't do the best with like signings they had a lot of... Um, um, last year they had a lot of signings and people thought they were going to do really good but they didn't do that the best I think this year 
I think finally after a good preseason under them, Jack Wilshere back here um, looking good in some uh, preseason videos I've seen of him doing good finishes. So hopefully he has a good season. And uh, yeah, obviously Anderson as well there. So it's going to be uh, big players for them. I think they could do good this season come eighth. And then for seventh place, I went with Leicester. Mainly because Rodgers is the manager and obviously he has the experience. He used to manage Liverpool and um, also he's got uh, good players there at Leicester City right now that are doing a good job for the club. Still got Vardy, obviously got Perez now as well, so that's another option up front. So them two will be dangerous and obviously um, depending on if Maguire goes or stays, that will be big um, for Leicester's position. But uh, from current state right now, I think they'll be coming seventh with the players they have. So yeah, decent uh, season for them. And yeah, Leicester to be the seventh place position. For my 11th spot, I put Watford. Like Ty mentioned, they had a good season last year, finishing mid table, reaching the FA Cup final. So I'm expecting them to have a, another uh, decent season. So yeah, Watford 11th. 10th, I actually put Everton. They already have a decent squad with Charles at sixth and so forth. And they made, they confirmed the sign of Andre Gomez and signed Dolph. So they could be a, a push for your plea for Everton, you never know. But yeah, 10th for Everton. 9th, I put Leicester. A good reinforcements, Tillemans, um, Ariza Perez and so forth, but we don't know if Maguire is leaving or not as we're calling this video, so yeah, Leicester 9th, 8th, uh, I actually put West Ham, they've had a good transfer window, in, in spite of Anatovic going to the Chinese club, they, re they replaced him really for now and they are looking to sign more players, so West Ham 8th, yeah, and in 7th I put Wolves, a uh, proven team from last season, confirming, sign confirming, the, confirming signings of then Donka and Jimenez and so forth. I do feel like they are going to have another good season. So you're Wolves 7th. But let's go to the next six. And this is where it's going to get interesting and controversial. <coughs> Ooh, all right. Um, starting off from the sixth spot, I put Chelsea. Um, Chelsea, you know, they finished fourth last season. Um, they got quite lucky to just slip under, so slip above Arsenal, should I say. Arsenal were coming close. Everything was coming close, quite to be fair with you. And they just about got lucky. Losing Hazard is a massive loss. Anybody telling me it's not a massive loss, I'm sorry, but we think um, he carried your fucking club. Uh, moving on to the fifth spot, um, I put Arsenal. Arsenal, 40 million transfer um, budget. I don't know what you're going to buy for that. Uh, there's nothing you can buy in this in this market for 40 million. Um, but yeah, 40 million, Arsenal, fifth spot. Fair enough, in my opinion. They can't do much with that team they have at the moment. Um, fourth spot, I put Spurs. Uh, Spurs. Decent side, um, you know, I, they, I can see them doing quite well. I can see them doing quite well. They got a stable team, good manager, um, manager knows what he's doing, and uh, all the players are quite experienced. They played in a lot of matches. Harry Kane will be back for the season. Fit uh, first, play, uh, first, <coughs> first spot. I put uh, United. Uh, United. I think you know they'll step up from last season. They're doing a massive clearance at the moment. You know, it's like a sale in that club. Everybody's just going out of there. Um, they're buying players like Bissaka uh, for uh, a lot of money. I don't know what's going on there. Maguire for 80 million, you know, people were saying, you know, VVD is a big transfer and then you're signing Maguire. I don't know who the hell he is, but you're signing Maguire. The guy's won, won nothing. He's got no proof, nothing in the pockets, but you're signing him for 80 million. Fair enough. Um, and then second spot for City. Uh, City, Liverpool again this season. I think it's going to be a fight between both clubs. I don't see anybody else competing. Like I said, United could possibly. Obviously, we know they're going to spend a lot of money. They have a lot of money. <laughs> they make a lot of money. They have a lot of money. So they spend a lot of money. Um, that means they're going to, you know, sign a lot of players. I think. Uh, I think some big names are coming their way this season. So be aware of that, guys. Uh, like I said, with City and City's going to spend. They spend every season. They're going to boost up the team. So There's not much they can change to be fair. The team is complete. Just a few players here and there. Maybe some attacking forwards. A bit of defence as well. Just is that injuries, fair, please? And that team is done. And then first I put Liverpool. I'm a Liverpool fan. Call me controversial. Call me, you know, whatever you guys want. Uh, but I think Liverpool win the league this season. Uh, you know, last season people were laughing about us winning anything. Uh, we came out of Champions League and we lost one game in the league. Nothing much to say uh, with the team we have. Um, I think we can achieve a lot, and uh, I think we can possibly, you know, go for the league this season. Uh, last season I was against Klopp. Uh, this season, you know, he's my favourite friend. Um, I, j I just hope, I, j I just hope, you know, he does the best this season, and uh, we win the league. I think we deserve it a lot. You know, players like Salah really deserve it. Uh, Mane deserves it. I think Mane is Mane's last season this season, so I think he's going to enjoy it as much as he can, and he's going to go to the big boys in the La Liga. Uh, or somewhere in the PSG maybe, you know, get some more money. 
uh, but I think it's going to be his last season. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a very interesting season for Liverpool. Um, I think if we do quite well, we can win the Premier League. Uh, transfer wise, there's nothing been at the moment. With you know, currently with it's the 16th of July, so we're still far away from the end of the transfer window. But I still think Liverpool could pull out some some players from the bag that we've never heard of, and you know, make them into big names like we do every season. Right, top six. Starting off with sixth, I put Chelsea. Um, you know, Chelsea managed to finish fourth last season, win the Europa League, you know, thanks to Sarri. Did a really good job there, even though most Chelsea fans and the media just really just took the piss out of him the whole time he was there and just gave him a lot of negative, um, a lot of negative uh, talking about him, basically. And, um, you know, Chelsea now, they've lost him. They brought Lampard in. They've lost um, Hazard, their best player. So I don't really know how they're going to recover from that. Um, they brought their a few low knee players back because they need to because of the transfer ban. <laughs> oh my so, uh, but I still think they'll they'll have a, a decent campaign for the situation they're in right now. So um, yeah, Chelsea to finish sixth, and then uh, fifth up with Arsenal. Um, Arsenal, you know, right now struggling to really sign these players because you know 40 million budget. They can't really do much with that. If they can somehow sign so hard, that would be great for them. But um, you know, I think Emery is a decent manager. They got they got quite well. They got a lot of good players. And uh, I think if they just sign a few, two, three players here and there, if they can do, then they'll be fine next season. But I do think they'll miss out on top four. So yeah, Arsenal to finish fifth. Um, fourth up with Spurs. Uh, Spurs had a great season last season. Um, Champions League final, um, top four. Um, they've just signed Ndombele, who is a great, great central, midfield, central midfielder who's going to really um, improve their side. Um, you know, Spurs, as Matt said, a really, really good team, good manager. So... Um, you know, they'll have a decent season next season. They'll make top top four. But um, yeah, so full for Spurs. And then third, I put United back in the top four for us. Um, you know, United, look, we um, we just we signed Wamba Saka. Very good right back. Um, possibly going to sign Maguire, who, you know, proven in the Premier League. Only 26 years of age. Um, entering his prime years. You know, if he can have the same effect on us that... Um, I don't, I don't know why Mandem are laughing, but if he can have the same effect on us the way Van Dijk had on Liverpool, then you know the pri then then the then the then the price then the then the price tag. Oh, who was Van Dijk at Southampton? He hadn't won anything either, though. He was he was a nobody. So anyway, so you know Maguire. So you know Maguire. You know if he has the same effect that Van Dijk can have, who at the time everyone was taking a piss out of Van Dijk oh, and the price oh, Liverpool oh. paid for him, <laughs> but everyone quickly Maguire forgot that because you know he's made Liverpool the team that they are today. So. If Maguire can have that effect, that, effect, no, 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 that, that back player. four he, with, he you know, Luke player. Shaw, Vit Lindelof, Maguire, wan Saka, and apparently we've signed, uh, De Gea's going to sign a long-term contract. So, you know, <laughs> it's Gucci, you know, we're eating well, we're good. So, um, if we manage to keep Pogba as well, add another mid, add another uh, midfielder, probably in the likes of uh, Bruno Fernandes. You won the Champions League. Uh, you know, you our front, front three is, is amazing, as usual. So, you know, it's, it's fine. We'll secure that top three position. And yeah, second I put LFC, they're not going to win the league again. You know, they won... <laughs> They won the Champions League last season, you know, credit to them. You know, you've got to give credit where it's due. They had an amazing season, Klopp's doing really well, but they're not going to win the Premier League again. Um, they're still going to go another, what is it, 26 years about winning the Premier League, however, however long it is. But you know what, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, you know, Klopp, Klopp, um, he has proved me wrong. He has won a trophy now, so I can't really talk too much shit about them. But until they win that Premier League title, I'll talk as much shit as I like. So anyway, first I put Manchester City as usual. You know, um, City, pff, what can I say about City, man? Such a class team. Pep Guardiola absolutely mashed up the Premier League last season. Um, you know, they are rivals to us. Um, but what can I say? Well, you know, when, when, they're, when they're doing so well, you know, I, I inspire to be a team like City, you know. But, and and um, so I, I, do, I do feel like they'll walk, they'll walk the Premier League um, again next season. It's going to be tougher because, you know, the teams around the other top six are improving. But, you know, as long as Liverpool don't win the league, then uh, I'm fine. So, um, yeah, City to win it. And, yeah, that's my predictions for the 2019-2020 Premier League um, campaign. Damn, OK, OK. It's a big Arsenal time, boys. The Arsenal fan is doing the top six. <laughs> and it's, it's, I'm going to be real, I'm going to be real. Sixth place, I've gone with Arsenal. Reason being, reason being, is that the club is a bit, it's a bit of a joke right now. Because Shelney... Boy, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. <coughs> he was captain of our club and he refused to go on pre-season. Is what it is. I've had sources telling me apparently it's because of the contract situation. Not really sure. I think he just wants to leave. <laughs> um, but to be fair, if we sign Zaha, that's my only hope. 
Then I'll say we come fifth. But until then, we're sixth. I'm just going to be honest. That's enough of Arsenal. All right, cool. Fifth, um, I'm going to put Chelsea. Frank Lampard, uh, obviously, he's not really, he's not, he's never managed Premier League team. Obviously, he did these with Derby, obviously, getting to the uh, Championship playoff finals. Came up short there. But um, <laughs> obviously, Chelsea losing Hazard. But they do have Pulisic, remember, uh, for signing from earlier on the season. Who, sorry? Pulisic, Pulisic. <laughs> signing from. Uh, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> no, I'm oh, 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 not oh. Pulisic yeah, Pulisic, Pulisic. Obviously, okay. a young talent could do well in the Premier League. I wish we had Pulisic, but it's what it is. Chelsea to come fifth, in my opinion. Fourth is gonna burn me, but uh, Tottenham Hotspur to come fourth. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, third place, um, United. Come on. Um, as Dave said, got quite decent signings. Uh, if Maguire comes, don't know about the Van Dyke thing. Might have to explain that a bit more. But yeah, if Maguire comes, could do decent at United. Could have a good effect on them. And I think they'll do definitely better than last season. And uh, so, oh my God, is so sure. Yeah. This is a big season for you because you need to prove the doubt is wrong because people were saying that he's not ready for the job after last season and the way they finished. But let's see. And then uh, second place, obviously Liverpool. I don't know why they're putting Liverpool first. Liverpool are not winning the league this season. Um, it's going to be the same as another 26 seasons, as they said. I don't want to throw too much shade. I'm an Arsenal fan. But, you know, I've got to let my anger out somehow. So Liverpool, you're not winning the league. Champions League, I think it's going to go to the La Liga clubs uh, this year. Maybe Juventus. So Liverpool back to the trophy last season, in my opinion. And uh, City to come first. Not much to say really, every season is going to be City first, let's all be real, that that spot, until they lose the uh, title, that spot is just City's for now. Their club's amazing, their manager's amazing, their money's amazing, can you send some money to Arsenal please? <laughs> City, we're going to come first, that's it for now, and uh, yeah, that's it man, that's it, there you go. Well, sixth spot, I thought Chelsea, uh, Frank Lampard came in. He's not experienced in the Premier League, uh, no Hazard. Their attack is poor. They might have signed Pulisic, but he's just going to have to adapt to the Premier League in his first season. And I do feel like they are going to finish sixth. Fifth. This is where it gets interesting. I put Man United fifth. Whoa. Let me, let me Whoa. Let's see. <laughs> this is what I'm going to I put Man United fifth. Currently, as we're speaking, uh, that match says 16th of July. The issues from last season still haven't been addressed. They had problems towards the end of the season. No good sign. Okay, wan is a good sign in my opinion. Daniel James, let's see what he can do. 50 mil, decent sign. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> Apart from that, I don't know what's going on with United. Mm. And then uh, also, uh, United are in the Europa League next season. I do feel like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to focus on the Europa League when it comes to February time. So I do feel like they aren't, they aren't going to get top four. Fourth spot, I can't lie. You guys are putting a bit too much shade on Arsenal. I put Arsenal fourth. United's second season, I feel like yes, Arsenal are going to shock everyone. They might have a 45 mil budget transfer or whatever. The team's still decent, in my opinion. They still can make a, a good signing, you never know. But yeah, Arsenal fourth. Lacazette is going to have a great season. He's the best player, in my opinion. Not all, but Lacazette is. So yeah, Arsenal fourth. Third, I put <laughs> Tottenham. They had a great season last season, in my opinion. Champions League final, finishing fourth. For, for a team with Tottenham who made no signs last season, reaching the final is an achievement, in my opinion with that team as also well. big up uh, Mauricio Pochettino on that and they signed them bit on Dombele sorry and we don't know if Ericsson's leaving or not so yeah Tottenham third second I put Liverpool gotta be honest I feel like City are going to win the league I'm not saying Liverpool aren't good enough but uh, City they're just a consistent team now I don't understand why these guys are hating on Liverpool though saying we're going to go trophy less it's just salt I guess but yeah Liverpool second and City first obviously they're going to be a devastating team next season, signing Roger and so forth. But like two weeks left of transfer window, so I need Michael Bayern. That could have a big impact on them next season, you never know. But yeah, for now, I feel like City are going to win the league. But 